As you can see, I'm inside a very dark cave, but if I press a keybind on my keyboard, there we go. We got everything fully brightened up. This is called the full brightness toggle mod. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install this mod for Minecraft 1.20.6. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step to get the full brightness toggle mod is to click on the second link in the description. This is a written guide on how to download and install this mod. Now, if you pay attention here on the first step, you will see that this mod does require this library mod called Collective. And to download Collective, go ahead and click on this little Collective little button in there that will redirect over here. And then go ahead and download the 1.20.6 for this mod. Just click on these little three dots and click download file. And after five seconds, we will have collective. With the collective mod downloaded, head back to that second link, and scroll down to step one and click download. That will redirect you to the full brightness toggle page where you're going to scroll down and download the 1.20.6 as well. Just click on these little three dots and click download file. After five seconds, your file will begin to download. While our file downloads, let's talk about Minecraft Apex hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, this is the perfect service for you. They offer Java and Bedrock servers, server that are hosted online and open all the time so your friends could join at any moment and yes they are hosted online meaning that you don't have to use your ip address or your computer resources for the server to run they support over 200 mod packs and mods so if you want to use your own mod and all of that you could use this server of course this server will be set up in less than five minutes and they have locations all around the world so no matter where you live you don't have to worry about lagging or your friends don't have to worry about lagging use the first link in the description for 25 percent off with apex hosting when you create your server now let's keep going with the tutorial now that the full brightness toggle mod is downloaded as well as our collective mod let's go ahead and drag and drop them into our desktop. Just click here on your recent downloads if you're using Chrome or head over to your downloads folder if you have any other browser. As you can see, we now have the full brightness toggle and the collective mod. If you already have Forge installed in your computer, maybe you watched one of our videos in the past, all you have to do now is add these mods into your mods folder and you are done. You could click out of this video. But I'm assuming most of you don't have Forge and that's why you're watching this video. Forge is pretty much a mod loader that is going to allow us to run these mods. In order to install Forge, click on that third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Forge. Feel free to read through this guide, but if you just want to make it quick, scroll down to step one and click where it says download Forge here. That redirects you to the Forge website where you're going to click 1.20.6. And then in here, once it says MC 1.20.6, click on installer. That redirects you over here where you will have to wait five seconds. Okay, very important that you wait five seconds and then click where it says escape right here on the top right. And then that'll begin the download for the Forge installer. With the Forge installer downloaded, we're also going to go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. And this is the last file you will have to download, I promise. Unless you have any issues along the way, which then you have to do extra stuff, but let's just hope you won't have any issues. There we go, Forge just finished downloading and let's put it in our desktop. Now we are kind of ready to start. The first step is to make sure that our Minecraft launcher is closed as well as our Minecraft game. And then just go ahead and double click on Forge to begin the installation for the Forge 1.20.6. It is very important, however, that you have played Minecraft 1.20.6 vanilla at least once in your computer, because that way you will create an instance of the Forge mod to install to. Okay, so just play Minecraft 1.20.6 at least once and then close out from it close out the minecraft launcher and then open the forge installer you should have install client selected automatically and then go ahead and click on ok and the forge installation will start now while forge installs if you had any issue opening forge you might have to update java 21 so let's say that you try to open the forge installer and it didn't open maybe it opened as a web browser or a text document or it just said a java issue go ahead and install java 21 i'm gonna leave this guide in the description okay it's probably going to be the fourth link and the reason you need java 21 now is because after minecraft 1.20.5 it is required to have Java 21 to install any type of jar files, which is these files right here are jar files. As you can see, the extension is a jar file. So yeah, if you had any issues, guys, opening the Forge installer, you will need to install Java 21 in your computer. As a matter of fact, let's say that you were able to open the Forge installer because you have Java 17. Later on, whenever you try to launch Forge through your Minecraft launcher, you might have a crash happen or your game maybe doesn't even open. That is because you don't have Java 21. So again, that guide will be in the description on how to download and install Java 21. It's pretty, pretty simple. It's just download a file and click install and next a couple of times and that's it. I always recommend that you go ahead and get rid of your older versions of Java after that. If you're confused about what I'm talking about, just click on search, type auto remove programs in here, open out of remove programs and type Java on the search list and just get rid of any Java like Java 17, Java 8, Java 7 and just make sure you have Java 21. I hope you were able to install Forge by this point. If you were, just go ahead and delete the Forge installer. You don't need it anymore. And now all we have left is to add these mods into our mods folder. If you already know how to do that, go ahead and do it. If you don't know how to do that, just go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. Now, when the Minecraft launcher opens, if we install Forge properly, you should see here selected automatically, but that doesn't matter because we're gonna head over to installations anyway to add our mod. Once in here in installations, make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, without modded selected, you won't see Forge. Once Forge appears in here, go ahead and click on this little folder. And by the way, guys, if you didn't get Forge to appear in here, you could always click on new installation, name this whatever you want, like for example, Apex Housing, since they give you 25% off if you use the first link in the description. And then where it says latest release, just go ahead and look for Forge 
1.20.6 as you can see release 1.20.6 forge and then just click create and that will make an instance of forge for you in here anyways like i said once you have forge in here click on this little folder and that is going to open a folder with a lot of files as you can see in here within this folder you are now looking for a specific folder called mod m o d s and mine is right here and i was lucky enough to see it right away but let's say that you don't have this mod folder i'm gonna go ahead and delete mine because i know a lot of you won't have it don't worry all you have to do now is click on an empty space just like so right click click new and click folder and then just name this folder mods m o d s like that yes you could create the mods folder yourself and once you found this folder or created it go ahead and open it and all you have to do now guys is drag and drop those two mods that we downloaded earlier the full brightness toggle as well as the collective library mod go ahead and drag and drop them into there close this folder head back to your minecraft launcher and yes now launch forge just click on play click that you understand the risk of playing modern minecraft and then click play again and wait for them forge loader to open now once minecraft opens we know that we're in forge because it literally says force right here and force down here but that doesn't matter because we're gonna go ahead and launch our world and test our mod now i believe this is a client side mod which means that this mod will probably work on a multiplayer server but i don't recommend using it online unless you have permission from the server owner and yeah if you want to not ask for permission just create your own server using the first link in the description now as you can see we're ready in the world but right now i have the night vision effect so let's go ahead and take that off let's go ahead and type effect clear and then myself and there we go we don't have night vision anymore right so now to test our and i'm sorry i just hit that skeleton to test our full brightness toggle mod we're just gonna go ahead and press a keybind are you ready one two three there we go and if we press the letter g in our keyboard we will toggle our full brightness mod and this is amazing is i mean look how bright it looks and i don't have to use a night vision effect i don't have to use a potion or anything as you can see this is without optifying or anything and for those of you that like using x-ray yes this will work with x-ray as well and by the way we have videos on the channel on how to install x-ray if we put the x-ray on as you can see there you go i just put myself in a spectator mode but as you can see x-ray works with this mod as well and you can see everything pretty pretty clear anyways guys as you can see that is pretty much how to install the full brightness toggle mod remember the letter is g on your keyboard so the g keyvine will change everything i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a like and a comment and also subscribe and as always bye bye